In this short video, we are going to discuss the operator precedence in the C programming language. So what is operator precedence? Well, the operator precedence determines the grouping of terms in an expression and decides how an expression is evaluated. Certain operators have higher precedence than the others. Well, if you talk about the C programming language, the multiplication operator has a higher precedence than the additional operator. So let's go over this table which would explain to you the precedence of operators in the C programming language. To start off, we have the category of postfix. In postfix, we have the operators as the square brackets, round brackets, the arrow operator, the dot operator, the increment and the decrement operator. Well, this postfix categories or these operators are always used after the name of the variable and these have the highest precedence in all of the operators. After that, we have the unary operators like addition, increment, decrement, not, the AND symbol, the type symbol which is used for typecasting and the size of operator. After that we have the category of multiplicative. Now multiplicative does not only mean the multiplication operator, rather we have the multiplication operator, the dividing operator and the modulus operator. After that we have the additive category. In this category we have the additional operator or the addition operator and the subtraction operator. After that we have the shift category which include the bitwise left shift and the bitwise right shift. After the shift operators, we have the relational operators. These relational operators are used for relational arguments such as less than, greater than, less than equal to or greater than equal to. However, we have the symbol of equality which is double equal. Now that operator has a lower precedence than these relational operators. So that is why we put them in a different category and we call it the equality category. In that we have the double equal symbol and the not equal to symbol. After that, we have the following bitwise operators as bitwise and bitwise ZOR, bitwise OR and after those bitwise operators we get the logical operators but logical operators have different precedence. So the highest precedence in the logical operator is of AND operator. Then we get the OR operator. Lastly we get the conditional operator. After all of these operators we are left with the assignment operators. Now assignment does not matter if it's a simple assignment, if it's an additional assignment, a subtractive assignment, multiplicative assignment, modulus assignment or so on. And at the very bottom of the precedence of operators, we get the comma operator. By the way, make sure to look at the associativity when working with each category of operators. So this was the operator precedence in the C programming language.